Halloween vibe, but for our guest, um, our next guest rather, creepy is actually a lifestyle choice. This is a regular thing. Their house is filled with the most unusual oddities, spirit boards, marionettes, dangling from the ceilings, coffins, live snakes, and spiders. I mean, it's happening in June, y'all, like all the time. That's why people call them America's spookiest family. So everybody say hello to the Shrek family. This is Kate, Rick, and their daughters, Winter and Samara. Give it up. I'm gonna start with you. So creepy started with you, right? You were the one who was really into it, right? Guilty. Uh, <laughs> creepy, kooky, uh, it's just all normal to me. But uh, some people tease me about my grandpa, my pop, my mother's father when I was a little kid. Uh, my parents were trying to make ends meet, you know, and they didn't have anybody to watch me. So my grandpa would babysit me and he, uh, he would guard a morgue, it was a state morgue. So oh. before he passed away. Wow, this is like childhood <laughs> start, okay, okay. Before he passed away, he had told me, actually at Christmas dinner, he told me that, uh, Ricky, when you were a little kid and you would run around in the morgue, if there were people there, which there rarely was, to make me not be scared, he would say, shh, people are sleeping. So I would tiptoe around him. I don't have conscious memory of it, but that's that was a story my grandpa told me. Oh, I love yeah. they're sleeping. Yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. and so, okay, you got into Spooky, right? You you liked it, but you got into it because of Rick, right? Yeah, he definitely was an inspiration to me. Um, I've always loved Halloween, but um, he definitely cultivated it out of me. With um, when it comes on to like first your date, house, oh, on our first happened? date, he wanted to I uh, get a, he wanted to buy a hearse, and I was like, what? What? Why, why would you want a hearse? <laughs> On your first date? Yeah. Were so. you just trying to weed people out? Like to, to like, it was like, you really wanted to make sure they were into it? That's amazing. I just wanted to think I was cool. Yeah. Oh my God, I love it. I love that. It's so creepy though. So Samara, uh, so you're, did you feel like your upbringing was like really cool and different? Or do you think, was it ever kind of odd? Would you bring friends over? No, growing up, it, I didn't really think we were different at all, you know? All my friends were really into all the spooky stuff. Uh, maybe not the creepy crawlies, like the spiders or snakes or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, they, they all loved the cool stuff. And when my parents got the hearses, uh, they would drive us to and from school and we got pretty, a lot of stairs. Yeah. Um, but my friends loved it and they would want to hop in and go to the store. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> what about you, Winter? Um, it definitely was a bit tough because uh, I, I, I realized my family was a bit different um, in elementary school, I would say. Um, and when I tried to talk to my peers, uh, my dad had showed me Night of the Living Dead at eight years old because we have a rule. Uh, our family does not filter art, music, movies, nothing. Art is art, it does not deserve <laughs> Yeah. So, with that being said, at eight years old, I saw Night of the Living Dead, and I tried to talk to my peers about it. They didn't really get it. Because <laughs> yeah, they were like, what? What? <laughs> you, like, showed it at a sleepover, and they didn't sleep the whole yeah. night. <laughs> exactly. That's um, kind of cool, though. No, it, Like, unfiltered, that's very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And now, especially at college age, um, I'm surrounded by aspiring filmmakers, artists, you name it. And yeah. it's, it's awesome. That's incredible. All right, so do y'all do y'all have any connection like the supernatural? Anything ever like spooky actually happened to y'all? I want something to happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the um, when Winter was born, we, there was a lot of action in the house. Like, um, uh, you know, the the, the monitor would kind of you know make weird noises. I mean, the I was like, ah, oh, it's just the yeah, the baby monitor. I yeah. just thought maybe oh, the batteries are no good. Um, Samara would uh, run around with a butterfly net. And she'd be like, look, there's a jellyfish right there. And she'd grab it and she thought she saw an orb. Like, you know, there's, you know, phenomenon, yeah. weird thing. So, um, yeah, it's kind of always been like that. And that thing with winter. Yeah, well, the, we never believed in astral projection before. You know, people leave their bodies when they sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, one night, my firstborn daughter, we're connected via the bathroom. All right, every time I gotta use the bathroom, she's in there. <laughs> oh. You're on the same schedule. Yeah. Only one bathroom. <laughs> There's always a waiting period. And uh, <clears throat> the bathroom's right next to our bedroom door. So Kate and I were chatting, it was about two in the morning, because we get, we get out of work really late. I own a tattoo shop, so we get home late. Yeah. And uh, we're chatting, and we're just talking, and I went to go to the bathroom, and Winter walked right past me, and she was clenching her fist, and her, head, her face was looking at the ground, and she was stamping her feet like she was angry. And I didn't think nothing of it. So she walked past me, goes in the bathroom, and I continue to chat with Kate for a few minutes. And then I'm like, okay, I can't wait anymore. And I walk over and I'm just standing there. And Kate goes, don't tell me there's nobody in the bathroom. And there wasn't. And I said, will you tell me what you saw? And she goes, I saw winter go by. Yeah. <laughs> Why 
can't something like this happen to me? I love that. Yeah, we were pretty spooked. Oh my gosh, I would be spooked, but then just wanting to tell everyone from a mountaintop. Yes. Halloween this year, Kate, what do y'all, do you just go out? I mean, or is it just like a Wednesday for you? <laughs> well, the inside definitely looks like Halloween every day, but um, the past four years, we always, we do a uh, 30 foot candy shoot. And from the top attic window, I'll get in a witch costume and I'll cackle like a witch. <laughs> And you come down it and give them candy? No, Is that what you're... Put the candy oh, you put the, the candy? <laughs> no, I would have wanted to slide. I would have been like, it's coming! I mean, <laughs> next year. Yeah, I was like, I would have totally slid. So wait, so real live snakes, for some god-awful reason, cockroaches. <laughs> um, and I love tarantulas. So you have all these things, like, what are, what, what's it like living with... Are you ever afraid they're gonna get out, like, while you're sleeping? Well, I would describe the inside of our house as, uh, like, a museum. If you walk into a museum, uh, you never have enough time to look at everything, right? Yeah. And there's just so much eye candy and so much stuff to look at. Mm -hmm. And that's how I would describe it. You know, I love the wow factor of that. The cockroach that was just shown, I believe, is that is that what that, that is different than a Texas cockroach. That looked like it's from the freaking Amazon. Like what, <laughs> Madagascar. what kind of cockroach is that? Madagascar hissing. A Madagascar hissing, sure. <laughs> Winter, what about you? <laughs> with, the, with the pets, I mean, they always felt like just extensions of our family, just like every other family. Um, I always loved insects growing up as well, too. Yeah. Uh, so we actually have a collection of insects on shelves where uh, they're all previously past pets, and they have the honor of being on our shelf. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. You waited until they passed to do it. <laughs> Winter cool made it up when she was tiny. She'd be like, we would teach her about death. We had a lot of little stick bugs, walking sticks and stuff. Yeah. And it would pass away. And Winter would go, now he gets the honor of being on my shelf. And she would get a jar already and stuff. I love that. <laughs> That's how she learned. Okay, what are the what are the cockroaches for? Okay. Like, well, this is like, I'm really torn between mm -hmm. this. It's okay. a very bittersweet relationship because okay. the cockroaches are actually food for the tarantulas. <laughs> However. Now it got sad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we got it. No, I love, but here's the thing. I don't mind it because I think cockroaches are so gross. Um, it's my only thing. It's my only thing. Like all of their bugs and, and like whatever, they deserve to live until they need to be eaten. <laughs> Circle of life. But, <laughs> but man, they creep me out. Yeah. Yeah. I think from childhood, we just lived in like places where, mm -hmm. you know, cockroaches, rats, like things like that were. And like, yeah, I didn't like waking up with them. Yeah. I, yeah. Had, to, I had to separate the males from the females because they were breeding way too quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Rick, I hear that you are the zombie artist of the family, right? What is that, uh, do you draw, like an artist? Yeah, yeah, I've been obsessed with drawing people as zombies since 2010, and uh, I've done about 300, and everybody that's close to me, I go, I creep onto their Facebook, and I take their profile picture, zombie infect them, and I say, you've been infected, and put it on their wall. And I yeah. started jumping around. So everybody up here has been zombified, mm -hmm. right, as part of the family. We zombified you, so I have this to give you. Yes! <laughs> Little oh my god, this is what I look like on The Last Picture. of Us. <laughs> I love this! Wait, I love it! You're really good, man. This is, she's torn into pieces. Here I am, <laughs> once again, I'm torn into pieces. <laughs> I mean, you might be creepy, but you're fun as hell. Thank you for coming. This was so cool. I want to slide out of my attic now. Uh, we're going to be right back, everybody, with what I'm liking.